Sandy, I, I think it's time. Oh, Grandpa, are you sure about this? I've had a good life. I'm ready to go. Thank you for helping me to die on my own terms. I've done everything that you've asked. I double-checked your estate, and I've made sure Fido will have a good home. And I threw away all of your porn. I just keep thinking I've forgotten something. Don't worry. You've done so much for me. Oh, I, I think I'm going. Oh, death is beautiful. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, now I remember. I forgot to call Zaptronics and have them turn off your internal defibrillator. You idiot! Oh, oh, pain! This is torture! Maybe I can call the device rep later today. Let me die! Death is horrible! We all know that internal defibrillators will automatically shock dangerous cardiac arrhythmias. We also know that sometimes we want to prevent a defibrillator from shocking the patient, perhaps if the patient is now on hospice or if the device is repeatedly firing due to a malfunction. This is usually done with a dedicated cardiac ring magnet. When this is placed over the device, it will deactivate the defibrillating feature. But what if your department doesn't have a cardiac magnet, or no one can find it? Well, any magnet above a certain strength can work. Most defibrillators will turn off if exposed to a 5 to 20 gauss magnetic field, which is why most cardiac magnets are at least 30 gauss or higher, because for heavier patients, the magnetic field has to penetrate soft tissue on the chest wall to reach the defibrillator. Cardiac magnets are very strong. We're not even touching this magnet yet, and it's almost at 30 gauss already. Its magnetic field will easily reach a defibrillator in almost any patient. If you don't have a cardiac magnet, you have to get creative and use whatever you can find in the department. Your secretary's desk might have magnetic paperclip holders. Your break room might have refrigerator magnets. Your conference room might have magnetic clip holders. You might even have magnets in the stuff you bring to work every day. This is a magnetic clip holder that you might find in any conference room, and it's got a nice strong magnet approaching 40 gauss here. Its field probably covers a pretty small area, but if you get it in the right place, it would have a good chance of deactivating a defibrillator. This is an earbud case with a pretty strong magnet, but it's also a little bit on the small side. This would have the best chance of working on a thin patient where the defibrillator was very close to the surface of the chest wall. This little refrigerator magnet is simply not strong enough to turn off a defibrillator. But when I stack the refrigerator magnets, you can see I'm getting closer and closer. That's because the more magnets you put together, the stronger the field gets and the further it penetrates. You can see the same thing here. One small magnet isn't enough, but a stack of them together gets the job done. Magnets are everywhere, and you can probably find some in your department without having to smash stuff. And if it doesn't work, your patient is no worse off than they were before. Remember, magnetically deactivating the defibrillator will not turn off the pacemaking feature. That won't be painful, but it may still prolong life. So if it's an end-of-life issue, you'll need to get your cardiologist and device rep involved. Or you can try and stop the heart manually, but that's not allowed in most jurisdictions. 